Hey guys, and welcome to a video. I'm going to explain about my new website. I kind of went in depth on episode 21 of Bucket for Beginners. I went a little in depth, but I want to really explain what the whole site is about and answer a few questions that I've gotten about it. So the, the website that I made is bucketlessons.com and it offers quite a few things. Um, the homepage is kind of like an introduction about me and the site. Um, there's links to the few things. I put all of my videos up on here that I upload to YouTube. Um, and I put previous and next episode buttons so you can easily find the next one. And I, oh, oops, I think I forgot to put it on episode four. My bad. So, yeah, it's on previous. Yep, so that'll take you to the next, previous, etc. So, um, all the videos are on here if you want to watch them. And, uh, I think it's a little bit easier because the buttons are kind of easier than waiting to like the end of the video and then trying to click on it. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, next thing that's on here are private lessons. This is probably what I'm going to be talking about the most. Um, so I answer quite a few questions on here that people usually have. Um, how they work is first there is a pre-lesson quiz that you're going to have to take. Um, you just need your um, your name, your username, and uh, your Skype username, I'm sorry, and then you have to go in depth and tell me what you want to learn. This could be if you want to learn how to make a shop plugin, a certain kind of mini game, if you just want to learn basics, it, it, anything, it doesn't matter. So, but I'd like you to be pretty s as specific as you can, so that'll give me a better idea of what I can teach you and how to teach it to you. Next is this long quiz um, that I made, which will give me a better idea of what you know. Um, doesn't matter if you get the stuff wrong, but please answer every question and just try your best. So this will give me, this kind of covers all different parts of Bucket and Java, so it'll give me an idea of how much you know. So that way I know um, where to start teaching you at. Like if you want to learn how to make a mini game, that's fine. But someone who has a bunch of Java and Bucket experience, I'm going to start like jumping right into, to like, right into the mini game code for them. But for someone that has never coded before, I'm going to have to start with basics. But then I can kind of mold the lesson so that we eventually make it into learning how to do a mini game, And I can kind of guide it towards that direction. So that's the pre-lesson quiz. Um, each lesson is about an hour long. They never go under an hour. They're usually a little over an hour, actually. Um, if you like, I can give you things... To practice after we do the, like after we do the lesson if if it permits I mean some people they just want to learn one thing and then that's it but if you're interested in continuing with the lessons I can give you assignments and stuff to do um, that I can check on the next lesson so to give you a way to practice it um, we will use Skype to chat during the lesson and we and I'll use team viewer to teach I'll use team viewer from like from your computer so that way all the code that I type will stay on your computer so you can go and review it um, how is it different from the YouTube videos if you find yourself um, having a hard time following YouTube videos or if you want to be able to have someone just answer questions right there on the spot like if you're learning something and you have a question apple juice I don't get this or apple I don't get this I'll explain it immediately and in any way that I can to help you understand it better. Now as far as the price, each lesson is $13 and then um, for an extra two, I'll record the lesson with my screen recorder and then I'll send it to you. Um, most people have been doing the extra two, I mean it's just two bucks, but it, it compensates for the time that it takes for me to set up the recording and send it to you through, you know, and all that. Um, but it really helps because that way you'll have the lesson recorded and you can watch it anytime you want um, to go and review over it again so if that helps as far as signing up um, oh I actually just saw a little bug I gotta fix that you mean I like people to book their lesson um, at least 24 hours in advance so that way I have time to get, get a lesson set up and all that um, now as far as actually signing up, you can sign up for a lesson slot, and I'll show you that in a second, or you can do an on-the-fly lesson, which is where you just fill out this form. 
um, of your name, email, and your availability. And then um, I just had a total brain fart. Oh, I'm sorry. And then uh, what an on the fly lesson is is once you fill this out, it will go to my email, and I'll I'll read it because I I check my email like every thirty minutes, um, and it pops up on my phone. I will let you know as soon as I have an open time slot, and then we will schedule the lesson at that time. But um, as you know, I'm a very, very busy guy, so the chance of you finding time for an on-the-fly lesson is slim. So I have been asking everyone, if they can, to just reserve a lesson slot. And if you notice, I found this cool thing to set up a lesson. And you, all you have to do is find us a time that you want. Note I am in Eastern Standard Time, so if you, if you have to convert it um, to make that work for you, then please do. So you pick a time, it'll ask you a few questions, your name, your Skype, your email. This is where you pick whether or not you want the recording to keep. You pick what kind of lessons you want. If you just, excuse me, if you just want to learn Java and no bucket, you can do that. If you have a Java background and you just want to learn like how to make a scoreboard or how to do a boss bar or something, you can just click bucket. But if you're interested in doing both, I have Java and Bucket. So, and then you just confirm booking. It'll send you a nice email with the information, and then it will automatically check this out. You gotta see this. It will automatically go to my calendar. Let me show you. So, here's my available for lesson slot, and as you can see, it will automatically sync to my calendar as a reserved lesson. And there's these are a bunch of people that have reserved them. Um, on Wednesday, I had a few. I had two uh, yesterday, or wait, that's today. I'm sorry, I had two today, and I have one tomorrow. So it will automatically sync to me, and then I, as soon as you submit it, I will get it, and I'll contact you on Skype, and we can start chatting. And then after you submit it, it'll ask you to fill out the the pre-lesson quiz, and then I'll get that as well, and I'll start looking over it. I'll read what you want to learn and I'll form a lesson plan for you from there. Next thing on the site is the plugin requests. Now there's three different ones. You can do a full plugin, a starter plugin, or a walkthrough. Now a full plugin is if you have an idea for a plugin, you can tell it to me. Um, I, I can code mostly anything. I The only thing that I'm really a little shaky on is multi-server connections like um, talking through Bungie because I don't have a lot of experience with uh, server programming it's a whole different side of programming you have to work with like different threads and various things that are pretty complex I haven't gotten there yet I'm working on it um, but that's about all that I can't do so I, I can you know if you have a request I can almost guarantee that I can do it or I'll figure out how to do it I'll make it happen trust me so for a full plugin, you just tell me what you want. I will code it. Like, well, first we'll have to agree on a price. Um, just so you know, my prices are probably higher than most devs because uh, I I look at it as an hourly thing. So if your plugin is going to take me ten hours, I'm going to want to have compensation for that. You know, I'm I'm not going to charge ten dollars for a plugin that's going to take me 10, 15 hours to code. You know, that's not worth it to me. Um, as you know, as I'm getting older here, time is money. I guess I guess you could say. So, but I will always be fair. I'm not going to charge you like eight hundred dollars for a plugin that's simple. Okay, uh, I the most expensive plugin that I've written is one sixty, and that was for a pretty big, big, big shop plugin style thing. So, um, that's a full plugin. You just give me the idea. We'll agree on a price, and if we can agree on a price, then I will. Uh, I'll code the whole plugin for you, and then I'll send it to you. That's it. Nice and simple. I get things, I get plugins on very quickly. It depends on how long it takes, obviously, but they usually take about a week to get done. Um, if the plugin's small, I can even write it in one night. So, that's it. For the starter plugin, um, this is, they are sometimes even more expensive than a full plugin. It depends. What a starter plugin is uh, is I code the beginnings of a plugin, or as much as you want me to, and I will comment very, very heavily 
throughout the plugin as I code it so you can read and you can understand what I'm coding. Let me show you an example. Uh, where is it? Minigame core. Here it is. So as you can see, I'm coding in this kit a plugin, and um, like I put uh, this is the, the utility class, and I explain what each thing does. And then instead of me just sending you the jar file, I'll send you this source, so you'll be able to f like fully understand how it works. And um, the starter plugin thing is more designed to be like it sounds a starter to a plugin that you want to make. So if you want to make a mini game, I could code here. You know, like if I click on here, it'll explain. Have me code the tough stuff so you can focus on the fun stuff. I'll write like the back end code for the mini game, like the teams and arena system. And all you have to focus on is how gameplay works, for example. Now the, the last one plugin walkthrough is something I just added a few days ago. I haven't done one yet. Well, actually, I guess I kind of am doing one now with uh, with with a guy. He wants a plugin made, and he's it's not really a walkthrough. He's just kind of watching me code it. But um, a walkthrough is going to be the most expensive, but it's going to be the most useful in my opinion, because you give me a plugin idea, and you'll be able to watch me through Skype and. Um, like we'll talk through Skype and use team viewers so you can watch my screen and control it if need be and um, and what will happen is I will code the plugin but I'm going to explain it and walk you through it as I code it and I'll code I'll go step by step if I hit something that you're confused on how it works I'll explain it so it's almost like getting a lesson and a plugin done at the same time so uh, obviously this is going to cost more because in addition to writing a plugin I'm also basically giving you a lesson but if you are really interested and in, into it this is a this is very useful and I really enjoy doing this cuz it's fun watching people uh, it's fun showing people the cool stuff that you can do with coding so um, that's it for plugin requests I have a download section where I provide helpful links to TeamViewer, Skype, and Eclipse if you don't have them. The forums. Um, trying to get these a little more uh, hype, a little more popularity, I guess. The I have a spot for a general discussion. I have a spot for any kind of coding questions you have for suggestions. I have a whole thing for reviews if you get a plugin made or if you have a if you do a lesson with me. I always ask you if you could write a small review for me and um, these are nine right here and some of the things people say are amazing I've gotten all positive reviews so far um, through both lessons I had the information and guidance that he gave me was absolutely exceptional any questions I had were answered in depth making it very easy to get the hang of etc etc so um, where's uh, 100 star this is a guy for, I made a plugin for him he said, I'm typing this to explain the wonderful experience. Words cannot describe the, the amazing experience I had while Apple Juice was developing a plugin for me. Not only was he fast and efficient, he helped with, uh, he helped with every update and pandered to every need. Never in all my days have I ever seen a plugin developer this committed to helping and developing plugins. Honestly, if Apple Juice can't make a good plugin for you that you will be happy with, nothing will. He works at his best quality with so much kindness, and most of all, he does it for you, not for money, but to genuinely help you out. To sum this up, amazing guy, amazing support, amazing quality. That was an amazing, <laughs> pardon the pun, amazing uh, review by Obi. I wrote him a, um, what was the plugin I wrote for him? Crap. Oh, a ch uh, chat plugin for his server. I wrote him a chat plugin. Got it done in a few days. I was really happy with that. So, that is the forums. And I just have an about me and then a contact section. So thank you for watching. This was just uh, more in-depth about the site. I'm, I'm really getting into this stuff. Uh, I really enjoy teaching people and, uh, and coding. So this is getting the best of both worlds. I'm kind of trying to build up a little community here. I'm up to about 400 subscribers, so there's only about 23 people on the forums. So I'm kind of, <laughs> where are you guys at? Where's, where's the 400 subscribers that I have? So hopefully I'm, uh, I can get the publicity out there more. And if you could share my site with anyone that you know or think could find it useful, please do. So thank you for watching.
and stay tuned for episode 22 of Bucket for Beginners. Adios.